Hey guys, this is Shane with Buyer Borrow. Hope you're doing well. Wanted to talk to you about vocal treatment. Um, this is going to be a very quick video just to walk you through some quick settings for uh, kind of a rock vocal. Um, this song is by a friend of mine named Lee Banks. Um, it's kind of a rock track. Um, it's not finished being mixed, but I want you to hear the the raw vocal over this track. Uh, this vocal has been edited and tuned, but otherwise it is directly what came off the mic. Um, here, we'll listen to that really quick. Cool. So it's a great track, great vocal, um, but we could clean it up a little bit. He has a pretty deep voice, so I brought in some EQ. I, of course, cut below 100. Um, I cut out a little bit of that cardboard sort of flubby mid-range sound that I heard at 450. Um, cut out some nasally stuff at about 4700 K um, and then I boosted just slightly at 1500 just to give it a little bit of presence so let's listen to that in the context of the mix cool so mostly what I heard from that was just tightening up that low end. Um, so now we'll introduce a compressor. I'm using the uh, ELI, the Distressor Arouser plugin. I love this plugin. I use it on tons of stuff. Um, I've got your four to one ratio, um, pretty fast attack pretty slow release uh just your standard comp but you can hear what it that it adds just some weight to the vocal so um, i'll play that for you So you can hear when I bypass and then activate that plugin, just how much weight it brings to the vocal. Um, next, I'm gonna introduce some delay, which I've just bust to a vocal delay uh, auxiliary track here. And I've got an instance of Echo Boy from Sound Toys running. Um, just your typical eighth note delay, um, not a lot of feedback, so not a lot of repeats. Um, I've got it 100% wet because I'm feeding into it um, just a percentage of the dry signal. So other than that, let's listen to it and see. This is going to be very subtle. So you can hear there that not a lot of delay, even if I solo it, you can't hear a whole lot of it. Waiting around, I'll steady the heavy bow cause we're going down. I don't have a ton of delay because um, I'm pretty heavy handed on the reverb. I really liked the way that the reverb made the vocal sit in this song. Um, again, I'm using an, an, a Lexicon 480 uh, from UA. Love this plugin. I use it on a ton of stuff. Um, I really like this fat plate since it's just a single vocal take. I really wanted the reverb to fill the sonic space, to fill the stereo image. Uh, so I really liked this fat plate. Um, I've got a pretty long pre-delay of 150. That's just so that the reverb doesn't sit in the same time space that the actual dry signal does. It won't muddy it up. It'll let the, the dry signal kind of come through a little bit. And then afterwards, you just hear the reverb tell after the vocal take. So let's listen to that. Steady the head. 
So anyway, I think that that vocal is sitting much better in the mix, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you like what you saw, uh, head on over to buyerborrowmusic.com and check out more content or like and subscribe on all of the social media channels, and hopefully we'll uh, see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching.